there are several reasons to consider advanced airway insertion. These include inadequate bag mask ventilation, long transport times, or the need to isolate the airway. With careful attention, trained healthcare providers can use an advanced airway to safely provide ventilation that is as effective as ventilation provided with a bag mask system. Advanced airway devices offer many advantages. These include isolating the airway, reducing the risk of aspiration, and lowering the number of interruptions in chest compressions. After inserting an advanced airway, deliver one breath every six to eight seconds or eight to 10 breaths per minute without interrupting chest compressions. The risks of using an advanced airway must be weighed against the benefits. There is no evidence that advanced airway measures improve survival rates in either in-hospital or out-of-hospital cardiac arrest patients. Unfortunately, insertion of some advanced airway devices, like an endotracheal tube, can cause interruptions in chest compressions that last longer than 10 seconds. These interruptions may reduce survival rates for VF arrest patients, so providers must balance the need for advanced airway intervention with the need for chest compressions and defibrillation. Healthcare providers can often insert supraglottic airway devices without interrupting chest compressions. These include the laryngeal mask airway, the laryngeal tube, and the esophageal tracheal tube. Healthcare providers who use advanced airways within their scope of practice must maintain their skills by using them frequently. The American Heart Association recommends that you become familiar with a variety of devices, but master one primary method of advanced airway control. If you are unable to establish an advanced airway, bag mask ventilation can provide a backup strategy.